Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Woodlife. I have here another box from somebody who cares enough to send the very best. What we have here is a plasma cutter. And opening the box, opening the box we have an earth light. In this bit here, we have a visor, a visor handle, I'll put that together later, and we have a tappy doodah and a wire brush. In here, we have Spare nozzles, spare tips, spare jets, and we have a cable. On the end of that cable, there is a doodad. Our buttons on the back. So, getting rid of the rubbish, what we have here is two bits of foam, and inside this bag we have a plasma cutter. Now. I uh, have never had a plasma cutter so the last one I used had an external um, regulator for the air this one actually has an internal so the way it works is um, control cable into there which activates the switch we have the positive goes in this side negative goes on this side, you adjust your amperage just here, and 15 amp lead, which luckily working in the shed, we have a 15 amp plug. So, just quickly, that can actually stay coiled over. See, there you go. So the negative goes there. And then you have positive charge through what we would ordinarily call the earth cable. So spare parts, wire brush can stay here. Spare cut parts can go in a box. And there we go. That is all ready for action. All we need to do now is chuck in air and um, clamp the earth on, or the uh, positive, and then we can get to cutting. So yeah, power, air, earth on, and the way it works is that the compressed air, with the clamp on, the positive clamp, and when you press the button, it creates an arc between here. That arc is blasted with air, which in turn cuts the steel. It's as easy as that. So, after unboxing and checking out and going to connect my new plasma cutter, I discovered this. In the packaging, through transportation, 
obviously my uh, de air nozzle had been pushed back through the back cover. I instantly got in contact with the company it was bought through and they're sending a new rear cover. So I received it this morning, contacted them as soon as I unboxed it this afternoon. A new one will be sent out on Monday. I greatly appreciated the company it was bought through and I appreciate their speedy response. They're answering to emails. Um, they even rang me and confirmed that they got me to plug it in to the air and test it out and make sure that uh, it wasn't leaking air. So now they're going to, like I said, send another rear cover Monday. So when that gets here, I'll be fitting that. In the meantime, I'm still going to use it. Bye. 